And welcome back. First up, cricket. And Cricket West Indies and New Zealand are close to finalizing plans for a bilateral tour, which is, which is expected to take place down under in November and December of this year. Jordan Fort reports. News emerged about a month ago that Cricket West Indies and New Zealand cricket were in dialogue over a tour later this year. And more details are now emerging about that tour. Chairman of the Cricket West Indies CWI Finance Committee, Wilford Billy Heaven, gave details of the tour. We are still having negotiations with New Zealand, although it is pretty advanced. We are looking at two test matches and we are looking at three T20 matches. We will, we will tour in early November, somewhere about the 3rd, and that tour will take us down to just before Christmas, somewhere about 16th or so of December, somewhere there. The tour is expected to take place within similar biosecure parameters of the team's tour of England in the summer. T20s weren't a part of that tour, and with the addition of the shortest format for the New Zealand tour, Heaven says more players will make up the region's contingent. The three T20 matches will take place before the two test matches and immediately after the, the IPL. We, as a consequence of that, we will have more players traveling um, to, to New Zealand. Heaven says the tour will also not be of any additional burden to CWI's coffers. But what is, I believe, is financially significant about this is that New Zealand will pay all the costs while our players are in New Zealand. That's, that, that, that would not have been the case normally. Under normal circumstances, that would not be the case. And CWI will pick up on the match fees and um, maybe pay for play for those who are not on contracts. For those who are on contracts, it will not cost us any more in terms of salaries. We will be just utilizing our players to play this, um, this series. And we will also pick up on um, travel expenses to and from. New Zealand was to have toured the Caribbean for three one-day internationals and three T20s in the summer. But that had to be scrapped due to COVID-19. Jordan Fort, TVJ Sports.